Hillary Clinton has been cleared by the FBI for the second time, lifting a cloud over her presidential campaign two days before the US election. An investigation into newly discovered emails found no evidence of criminality. But the saga has already hurt the Democrat candidate in the polls and the Trump team is continuing to argue she's corrupt and untrustworthy. Hillary Clinton's use of a private email server has dogged her entire campaign for the White House. Just over a week ago, the FBI dropped a bombshell that it was reopening the case against her, reviewing thousands of new emails discovered on a computer linked to a close aide. Now, at the 11th hour, it says there's nothing that could justify a prosecution. In a letter to Congress, the FBI director, James Comey, said, we've not changed our conclusions that we expressed in July. That conclusion that while careless, Hillary Clinton was not guilty of any crime. We are glad to see that as we were, uh, that he has found, as we were confident that he would, would that uh, he has confirmed the conclusions that he really uh, reached in July. And we're glad that this matter is resolved. The FBI's new investigation has cost Hillary Clinton dearly in the polls. Her lead is now less than half what it was before the news broke. Despite now being cleared, her Republican rival isn't letting up. Hillary Clinton will be under investigation for a long, long time for her many crimes against our nation, our people, our democracy, likely concluding in a criminal trial. It's a sentiment echoed by Trump's supporters. Many still believe Hillary Clinton is untrustworthy. We have to have somebody other than Hillary. No choice. Trump all the way. Donald Trump faces his own minor scandal with news his campaign team has taken over his Twitter account. They had so little confidence in his self-control, they said, we're just going to take away your Twitter. Both candidates are spending their last days campaigning in key battleground states, where polls in some put them neck and neck. Ann Barker, ABC News.